Hi there, my name is Amy and I'm from the Cranberry Public Library. I'm one of the circulation clerks and I'm here today to do an Earth Day craft with you. Today's craft is called Coffee Ground Fossils. Your ingredients that you'll need are a half cup of used coffee grounds, a quarter cup of cold coffee, one to two cups of flour, a quarter cup of salt, something to cut your impressions with, um, maybe a can, or a tool of some sort, and then items to use to press into your fossil. I have some old keys, some evergreen, a star keychain, and a branch. You could use whatever you want. So we're going to get started. All right, so step one is to mix all of the ingredients together. I'm gonna to put the coffee grounds in, and then I'll put the salt, and the coffee, and last, it will be the flour. And you're going to add flour um, to the point of the consistency of a dough. So I'm going to mix these together until it's a little bit firm so that I'm going to be able to knead the dough. All right, so step two is to prepare your surface. You can use wax paper or a cutting board and you want to add some flour to help prevent sticking. So I'm going to take the dough that I've just mixed and I'm going to press it out onto my board and then I'm going to knead it with my hands and flatten it out. Doesn't have to be perfect because it is going to look like a stone. As you can see, the coffee grounds and the coffee has given it the color of a stone. So I discovered that you don't want to make it too thick because then it takes the fossils an extra long time to harden. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is make our fossils. So I'm going to use my cup to cut my stone shape and then I am going to take my items that I have ready for impression and I'm going to press them in and I need to press them in kind of deep and then I'll pull them out and see the impression in there and then a couple of the needles fell off and came in there but that's all right because sometimes things get left behind in fossils and I'll take my stone or my star and press it into my fossil over here now one of the other fun things that you could do with this craft after it's finished is create a little fossil hunt for your kids by hiding the fossils in a rock garden maybe and have them go searching for fossils so I've got a star and I have some uh, pine needles, pine branches, and then I'm going to take one of my keys and press that in as well. And then you can keep on going until you're all used up, you use up all your dough, and then you just let them sit and dry overnight. I would suggest that you maybe put them on a cooling rack to help them dry from the bottom up as well. And then they'll be an even dry. Another suggestion for your fossils is to create a garden stone and to uh, plant some seeds directly into it because they are biodegradable. Though, so what you'll do is you'll take your seeds, maybe a marigold seed or whatever you might have around. And uh, marigold seeds can handle the high acid I found out. So you just press your seed down into your fossil and cover it up and then put these out in your garden or in your planter as a decoration. And then as they begin to biodegrade, they will turn into flowers. All right, so these are some of the finished ones that I did the other day. So we've got the keys, I made my last initial, my star, my pine needles, and my single key. Happy crafting, everyone. Happy Earth Day.